Hey, Megan and Brody. I'm here in Cadillac at Remco, a business that specializes in manufacturing replacement machine parts, but also has a special little side business. And I'm joined by one of the masterminds behind it. I'm here with Gilbert Hall, the superintendent of the shop, and also one of the masterminds behind this vintage car part shop. Can you tell me a little bit about what you do on the side? Uh, well, we manufacture parts for vintage vehicles, uh, turn of the century, 1900s, 1910, 1920. Uh, stuff you can't buy anymore. So, uh, the customer. So each piece is almost like a work of art, and we've got a whole bunch laid out yeah. right here. Can you tell me about some of the parts that, okay. that you've made? Uh, this particular cylinder here is off a of Wright Brothers airplane, a 1910, uh, eight cylinder. They made it, it went up, it crashed, and they're trying to reproduce it and see if they can keep it up in the air. Uh, this part here is for a Stanley steam car. It has eccentrics on it. And uh, we were the first ones to figure out how to do this. They did it in 1900s. I figured we could do it now. So, uh, Lots of different car parts have come through. You, you said the St Stanley steam car. That's an old car. The Stanley steam car started in uh, 1897 and went through 1925. Uh, yeah, quite, quite an old car. There's 800 of them left in existence, and probably 50% of our vintage work is steam-related. And one other thing that I think is really great is that most of the old cars come here. All over the country, old cars are coming here to have you work on them. Correct. Uh, sometimes they bring the car. Usually they just send the parts, oh, okay. and then we reverse engineer it, manufacture it, and send it back to them. But on occasions, they do bring their cars, yes. What do you think is the oldest car you've worked on? Uh, 1901, I believe. Uh, we have an 1887 uh, boat launch, steam-powered boat launch here. So that's probably the oldest engine we've worked on. And I like these two. These are hubcaps, you said. These are uh, Stanley hubcaps, normally made out of brass, nickel-plated, and I started manufacturing them out of stainless steel. That way there you can uh, rebuff them after you tighten them up if you scuff them up. So you're not ruining your nickel. This is kind of a personal thing for you as well. You kind of have your own collection of old cars. Yeah, Can you tell me about some of the old ones you have? Uh, I have five Model Ts from 1927 to 1915, and we run them. I'm a past president of the Model T Club International. We go on national tours every year throughout the country, and we run them quite a bit. I also have a steam car myself, and I do do some steam tours with that. Mine is not finished, so I've been borrowing cars or riding. So, <laughs> but. All right, and one other thing I wanted to show. This is an old, this, this is, is an 19, engine. 1912, 30 horsepower Stanley engine. This set a speed record in 1906 for 126 miles an hour, this size engine, which we have hooked up to air. Can we uh, see it run a little? Yeah, this is 80 pounds pressure. This normally runs on 650 PSI, but... All right, pretty cool. So it's still happening no matter how old those cars are. Guys like Gilbert Hall here at Remco and Cadillac are still making them run. Thank you for joining me here. I'm going to stick around, get a little bit more uh, history about these parts. I'm live in Cadillac. Holly Baker, 7 and 4 News. And coming up, we'll also be going live in Cadillac to look at some classic cars. There's Holly Baker showing you some uh, classic manufacturing. A great shop down there in Cadillac. We'll take a live look there later on this morning. Stay tuned. You're waking up with 7 and 4 News today. Well, some of the signs that the weather is nicer isn't just the sun or lack of coats. Or Megan's AC. Or it's, my uh, AC. <laughs> it's actually folks showing off their vintage vehicles. 74 is Holly Baker joined us live from Cadillac at a shop that runs a side business for making parts for classic or vintage vehicles and engines. Good morning, Holly. What do you have for us now? Good morning, Brody and Megan. I'm here in Cadillac at Remco, which of course specializes in making replacement machinery parts, but has this cool side business where they make parts for vintage and classic cars. I'm here with Gilbert Hall, the superintendent of the shop, and one of the guys who really got the ball rolling. Can you tell me a little bit more about how you got into the classic car replacement business? Well, uh, I was at a local car club meeting, the Crank and Tees, and a gentleman asked me, Al McRoberts, if I could make a 10-tooth pinion for a Model T. I said, sure. So I made that, and another guy with a Buick wanted transmission gear. So we made that, and one thing led to another, and here we are, you know, 12 years later. 12 years later, and here's the kind of the workspace for some of these old parts. 
Uh, what, what, what are we looking at here? Uh, this is a 1907 uh, 10-horse Stanley engine and rear end that we're reproducing or refurbishing for a guy up in the UP. And uh, in six weeks, this will be a completely refurbished engine and uh, rear end that will go out of here as a unit. And with these old parts, what's the kind of work that goes into the? What's the labor? And, you know, it's all handmade. It's so. basically labor intensive. Uh, we disassemble it, sandblast it, uh, reverse engineer uh, everything. Like this gear, we've never done one of these. Uh, we've probably done a 100 different Stanleys and never done this particular one. So we have to draw that up on a blueprint and then manufacture it. Uh, these are your valves. It's a D-valve. We remachine that, lap it in, grind the valves. Uh, pistons, piston rods will be ground and re-chromed or replaced if necessary. And uh, basically completely gone through. The rear end will get modern bearings, uh, new axles, new gears, new, new everything. In your 12 years of doing this, working in this business, what kind of people do you meet? Uh, you meet all kinds of people. Uh, it's more or less a community of its own out there, and it doesn't matter if you're a shop worker or a billionaire. You can sit down, have dinner, talk cars, and it's just a great community. It really is. I'm Again, I'm live here at Remco where they have this awesome side business making cool car parts for classic and vintage cars. Again, with Gilbert Hall, one of the master crafters behind these cool parts. Live in Cadillac, I'm Holly Baker, 7 and 4 News.